Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves 3, the newest Rule the Waves game out uh, by Naval Warfare Simulations and published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. In today's episode, we are returning to our Let's Play series Playing as Italy. It is 1912 in our game, we started in 1890, and we're in the warm embrace of peace. We have laid up almost our entire fleet into mothballs. Uh, a couple of ships are in reserve fleet here, and I'm actually going to switch them over to mothballs because there's no reason for them to be in reserve fleet. It seems like reserve fleet or mothballs both put the crews at poor experience. Uh, they may attrit themselves more slowly in reserve fleet to poor, uh, but the end result seems to be poor no matter what. So we're going to switch those guys over to mothballs. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and switch these guys over to mothballs. And so, uh, the fleet will be cheaper, so we can build more stuff, which we then can't afford when war starts. But hey, you know, sometimes, sometimes you gotta you gotta think about the future. Also, speaking of thinking about the future, we have increased our dockyards from twenty five thousand to twenty nine five, but I think we're gonna expand it further. Uh, we've got a fair bit of surplus budget, four point eight thousand. Uh, so let's go ahead and spend one point three to expand larger docks. So we'll do that. Uh, we only have two ships under construction right now. They are two battle cruisers of the Tortuga class, the Tortuga and the XTRG. Um, tempting to purchase a third because these are relatively new designs. They've been under construction for a little less than a year. They have six 14-inch guns, 10 fives, 10 threes. They make 26 knots and they're 25,000. Um, or sorry, they make 20, 25,000 tons and they make 26 knots. They also have very good armor for... Uh, Dread, or for battle cruisers, 11 inches of belt armor, two and a half of deck, 11 and a half of turrets. Um, so they might be able to withstand some stuff. They're a little undergunned from what I'd like. They're kind of in the vein of the renowned class battle cruiser, only three double turrets. Um, but I think more likely we should build some battleships because we only have two dreadnought class battleships. They're a little bit undersized at 21,000 tons. They only have 13 inch guns. Uh, we can build up to 14 inch guns. Now they only have eight turrets or eight, eight main guns. So perhaps a second class of uh, dreadnought ships is not a bad idea, but actually in the meantime, we do have two pre dreadnought battleships still the Romas, um, they're pretty decent ships, I feel like. Four 12-inch guns, 12 8-inch guns, uh, but their engines are starting to come apart. They've been in service for 10 years, so their max speed is no longer the design speed. So we're going to go ahead and open for redesign and uh, see if we can replace machinery and expand the speed. I'd love to go to 22 knots and actually increase the ships over their design speed. Uh, we could also switch over from coal to turbine engines which will be expensive, but we're already spending an arm and a leg to replace machinery anyway, so if we're ever going to switch over to coal and turbine, now is the time. Um, we've got a bit of weight savings here. Let's go ahead and upgrade the fire control solutions as well. And that still gives us 170 tons of weight saving, but we can't go to 23 knots, so we'll just increase it to 22 knots. And... Yeah, is there anything else we want to do here? I can't upgrade the guns as much as I would like to. They're a negative two. We'll upgrade the turrets to 12 inches of armor. I think, oh, maybe we can't do that. 11 and a half? 11? Make the ships less likely to blow up, hopefully. I'd love to add torpedo defense, but I can't do that to an existing design. And actually, to add turret armor increases the cost considerably. So we won't do that. We'll keep it at 10. So 12 months at 1.4 million. Or, or 1.4 thousand. So we'll go ahead and do that. Save redesign. Okay. And then we'll redesign the one ship that has the speed that's slower. Also, I, I just realized now that the Romas are a slightly older class. I totally forgot. It's been a couple of days since I've been playing this here, but they're, they're a slightly older class. The Caesar are probably the class we'd want to upgrade. But... Do we want to open them for a redesign? See what they've got. Upgrade the fire control to director. Replace machinery. Incre increase speed to 22 knots. One point one million for 12 months. Turbines. We can also increase the engines to turbines. 
We could bring these bad boys up to 23 knots. It's going to get our battle line situation all out of whack with the speeds that these guys can make, but should keep them viable for a little bit longer, I would think, if they can make 23 knots. Alternatively, keep them at the pre-dreadnought battle line speed of 22 and increase the armor on some of this stuff. Although, as we saw last time, changing the turret armor is expensive and takes a lot of time, so let's not do that. Um... Yeah, so just, I guess, increase the speed, because we can. What's the cost on that? It's considerable to increase it to 23 knots. Twenty-two knots is still a knot faster than my dreadnoughts, so let's do that. Let's keep that. Could have improved secondary guns. Can we do that? Yeah, let's upgrade the guns. Oh god. It's expensive to do that. Oh, and I can upgrade the twelves from negative one to zero on this. Alright, so these are gonna be expensive, but they're gonna have better guns. Better secondary guns. They're like as expensive as a dreadnought to rebuild at this at this rate. But we might as well get them up to 23 knots at this point. These guys should be killers. So we'll do that. Now it says it's a battle cruiser though at 23 knots. So I guess we'll keep it at 22. Um, considerable weight available though like would we want to add oh we can't we can't add a new turret can we upgrade the tertiaries to four inches I don't even know what the counting tower okay so we can improve the, the secondary casemates to, to four inch guns and add a couple of them. Oh God, we have more than the minimum or maximum. Okay. So we've upgraded to four inch guns in the casemates, increased the number of them. We've upgraded our 12 inch main battery. We've upgraded our nine inch secondary battery. We've increased the speed from 21 to 22 knots. We've replaced the engines, which is a crazy thing that I don't think any ship would ever do. Like, replacing the engines would be ripping these things. You'd probably have to cut the ship in half to do it. I don't care, though. Why, why are these turrets not auto-placed? Okay. All right. So let's do that. Okay. So... Three... All right, so for whatever reason, rebuilds don't count against your available shipyard capacity, but we're rebuilding one of each of the pre-dreadnought battleships and then for, for hopefully for service for another decade. And then we've got two dread or battle cruisers that are being constructed. And I think we've got enough destroyers, right? We've got 40 destroyers in service. Probably about 20 of those will end up taking trade protection routes, but that's still enough to be in mainline service, I think. I suppose we could design a, a cheap Corvette. So one of my criticisms of Corvettes is how expensive they are relative to what a destroyer is. But if you actually go in here and you just auto design a four inch gun Corvette, and you realize you don't need a 15, a 1500 ton Corvette for it to be effective. Um, it's, it's cost right now is about what a brand new destroyer would be. But here's the thing. Corvettes don't need to go 25 knots. So you just slow the Corvette down to say like 16 knots. So you remember 25, it was what? Three, seven. You slow it down to 16 knots, which is what the flower class Corvettes were. And you've cut it by cost by a third. So that's already a considerable cost saving. And now because you've made that cost saving, you don't need, you have so much extra weight available so you can actually upgrade the guns to five inches. You can go ahead and use turbines, which might be a little more expensive. I don't know, but you can have five inch guns on these things, which should be able to shoot well against destroyers, theoretically, although their fire control will limit their effectiveness. Um, I don't have the option to have depth charge throwers. That's not a thing yet, I guess. But in any event. 
So we've got a broadside of three five-inch guns, which I think is is good for a convoy escort. 16 knots is faster than any of the merchants, so that's good enough, I think. And then we can go ahead and we can sl- and we can shrink the thing down. It, it's 500 tons heavier than it needs to be, so we can go ahead and shrink this thing down to... Oh, uh, well, ship is overgunned for tonnage. Ship fitted for colonial. Oh, so it's a colonial ship, eh? All right, 1,100 tons is recommended for... Why does colonial service need to be at least 1,500 tons? Well, in any event, we don't really have that many overseas colonies, so we'll get rid of that colonial service thing here. And you can see the cost is down from 3.6, 3.7 to 2.1. So we've cut the cost, what, not quite by half, but more than a third now. So yeah, it's probably a decent little design. I got this from talking to Tortuga, not the specific design, but... Hmm. What do we want to call these? We'll just call it the K... K-class Corvettes. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to spend a month designing the thing. And then we'll move forward to uh, October. Eight 12-inch guns on the Congress-class battlecruiser for the U.S. Okay, it's interesting. All right, so our Corvettes are ready to build. So we're going to build a bunch of them. Last war, we knew we needed 18 ships in colonial service. Or not colonial, but 18 ships in um, trade protection route service. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, it has five ASW scores. So that should be good against enemy subs. So we'll go ahead and build 12 of these things. Maintenance cost is 11. Which is... I'm not sure how much cheaper that is than... What is a... What is a maintenance cost on a destroyer? On a 500 ton obsolete destroyer. Does it even tell me? I guess I can just 12. So it is it is cheaper than even our tiniest destroyer's maintenance cost. Okay, so let's build 12 of these things. I don't have the spare money to do it, but we're going to pause and move stuff around. So that's going to put us considerably in the negative. Let's actually build a total of 20 of these K-class ships. They'll be our primary, at least at war's outbreak, they will be our primary vessels for dealing with uh, trade protection. And then for our ships in service, we're going to go ahead and scrap the two Priscilla, Priscilla class, I think. They've got two five-inchers as well, actually, so they're decent there. They make 1,500 knots. They're 1,700 tons. That might be decent for colonial service. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll keep them in service, although they can only make 13 knots now because they're so old. So let's go ahead and scrap them. They're just, they're too old for it to be effective. They're over 20 years old, 22 years old. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put these Marcus Aurelius class cruisers into mothballs. They do have good crews though, so maybe we should keep keep some ships with good crews. We can send them out as commerce raiders as soon as the war starts, whatever war it might end up being. And then let's uh, put... One of our battleships and one of our battle cruisers into reserve. Not saying that it's super realistic to do that, but it will save us some cash. Okay. Okay, so I've got about three months worth of income at the current rates. No one else is building Corvettes, by the way, just us. We're also building six subs still, I think, that are about a year away. We've unlocked the medium sub design. And then I think when these Corvettes are ready, we may scrap the 500 ton destroyers. I don't think they will be terribly useful in the event of a war. OK, 
Okay, we already had the Congress, didn't we? Increased torpedo range. France is behind, so let's not do that. All right, Great Britain and Spain's alliance has faltered. So if there's a way I can... 2% weight savings on armor. If we go to relations here, is anybody else still allied to... Russia's allied to France. I don't know that I'm that scared of... Or Spain. I don't know that I'm that scared of Russia. Spain is behind in terms of technology, but maybe they have some stuff that we don't have. Plus, it'll increase tensions. All right, so we're bankrupt. That was quick. Okay. We'll halt a couple of these battleships for a few months. One of our agents has been caught in Great Britain. Sure. 10 inch naval guns, quality zero. I probably won't use them ever. The French government's interested in buying the rights to torpedo technology. No, I don't. I'm, I, I want to fight France. So they're the one country I probably won't sell anything to. All right, we'll resume those constructions for the next two months. Torpedo protection two, nice. That'll be useful. Scientists discovered heavier than air aviation. Okay. Shipboard aircraft operation. Okay. So if we go to research, you can see that stuff is here as medium. Where are we tech-wise? Average. Germany is very advanced, so maybe we are increasing our intel with them. Disarmament conference is being held in The Hague. Uh, no. I don't, I don't care if it increases tension. I'm fine with going to war again. We're almost at war with France. Jeez, I didn't expect it to quite be that fast. Is France still behind technology-wise? No, they're average. Okay. Reliable power training and elevation. Rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches is reduced. Yes. That's good news. Okay, we'll halt that for a month. Although now that we're almost at war, maybe I should be accelerating construction of my battle cruisers, not halting them. Private shipbuilding is expanding our dockyard by a thousand tons. We're also doing work to expanding our dockyards. All or nothing armor has been developed. 10 inch guns quality one. I guess we could use those for like a pocket battleship or some commerce raider of sorts. But our dockyards instantly went from 29,500 tons to 33,500. So I think that'll be good for a little while. We've also got some cash to play with now that the dockyards are done constructing. So we'll just turn everything back on. Tensions actually dropped with France this last turn. Quietly and discreetly. I don't need another spy with Great Britain causing an issue. All right. First of the rebuild should complete this month. There it is. But we have two of that class. So we're going to go ahead and do the other Roma rebuild. The 1912 standard. And we're also going to rebuild the other Caesar. Get that work started. So we are refitting our battle fleet, at least the, uh, the old, old, old stuff. Okay. 
I'm actually kind of tempted here. If we go to open design for rebuild, I don't want to replace machinery because that takes a lot of stuff. So I'd like to add the better fire control. Ten months. That adds ten seven months just to interesting that it drops the cost though. Oh well maybe not. Because ten three that's about three thousand. Yeah, it's about the same. Um I could drop the amount of shells we have to 75. That seems a little low. We could drop the secondary shells by by 10. I think that makes the most sense. Or maybe the some of the tertiary shells. I have to drop by like a quarter of its total complement though, so I guess we'll just do the 10 for the secondary 5 injures. They already have a rate of fire penalty anyway, so that way I don't have to replace machinery. It's only a 3-month rebuild, so they're not out of commission for a whole freaking year. But they can get advantage of the better fire control. So we'll do that for the Victor Emanuels. So we'll send them to port to do that. Do the THG classes have the uh, director? They don't. So we'll do the 10 on the secondaries as well for them. This is just a refitting, a refitting episode. Everything's being refit. Right, the Rome was done. Everything else is being worked on. Upgrade the guns. All right, so six months to upgrade the guns on this guy. On the Romeo class armored cruisers. Upgrade the direct to director fire. Reduce the five inch shells slightly. And increase the quality of the battery. Those do take a little bit more time to to do. It's six months, but we're getting ready for war, boys. Okay. All right, so everything pretty much is being rebuilt, with the exception of the light cruisers. All right, so I'm way over budget at the moment, which should be resolved in about three months. Okay. 
we'll have to halt some of those three month ships. We've got a bunch of stuff that'll be coming off the ways in the next month. We're going to go ahead and halt the, uh, well, we shouldn't halt the Tortuga. We should halt the uh, XTRG. So let's go one more month. You have more than half the fleet's tonnage mothballed. The prime minister thinks that's unaccepted, an unacceptably low level of readiness. That's okay, prime minister. I will deal with. Oh, he won't. He won't let me in the turn. What if I do that? Thirteen corvettes are commissioned into the navy. There you go. The monthly balance immediately gets much better. And these guys are working up. Also, our submarines that we had been constructing, com constructing completed. Tensions just don't want to go up right now. Folks don't want to fight a war, I guess. Okay, so we'll go ahead and resume those rebuilds that are three months out. Six more Corvettes are commissioned into the Navy. More info about the Montana class for the U.S. 11-inch gun, quality zero. Okay. All right, so one of our reconstructions finishes. Corvette finishes. Zoom a couple more ships. Another reconstruction should finish this month. We're into 1914, by the way. A major arms firm wants to sell ships to a South American country. Yeah, go ahead. Give me more money. I don't care. Multiple Spanish rebellions in Morocco and Cuba. Color me shocked. Not so much. Private shipbuilding expands our docks to 34,000 tons. Several ships complete their rebuilds. The Prime Minister wants to hold an international gathering with a sailing regatta in competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions. But the money to finance it will come out of the Navy budget. Not a good time. The Navy supports such an excellent initiative. Oh, I don't want to lower tensions. Tensions are already low enough. Right, resume construction on those ships. And that rebuild should be done this month. Magnus has finished completion. Another round of fighting is broken out with the Baltic nations. It's deplorable and it seems... Well, you know what? The, the French, if we take a look at the... Uh, can I see the map? The French aren't allied to anybody, right? They're not. Doesn't show me the map. But France, don't they possess Greece? Isn't that one of their their colonies now? So there's no doubt it's the meddling of the French. Nice. Above water torpedo tubes on seals. That's exactly what I need. Okay, so tensions with France going back up. Like, yeah, if we go back here, we can see in our in our playthrough, France should be one of our main rivals. They have Greece, which is nuts. If anyone should have Greece, it should be Italy. All right, so the B, the Tortuga classes are seven and 11 months away. The Lepanto and Caesar will be done in six and nine months, respectively. Commodus will be ready next month. We really do need another battleship class, especially given that we're, we've gone a while since our last build. But a lot of these ships are being rebuilt now, which is nice. We also, frankly, probably also need a uh, a new destroyer class. Let's go ahead and put these uh, Corvettes into mothballs. There's no reason to have Corvettes like that in active service. Okay. Just mothball everybody we can without getting the Prime Minister up in a tizzy. Send some of the battleships to reserve. They're not technically mothballed, right?
All right, so budget back to 2.8 plus. Um, if we are going to go to war with someone soon, we probably need to start designing our next class of battleships. We've got 34,000 tons to play with. So the AI recommends a design with a midships turret, which is 1,400 tons. I don't like that design aesthetically. That is not pleasing to me. We can do 14-inch turrets. I don't think we can do 15 or 16 yet, but we can do 14-inch turrets. That's 500 tons more. 500 tons more, 600 tons more. So we'll do a triple turret on the on both the the aft and the forward turrets. So it'll be 10 14 inch guns on this this bad boy. Hull is too narrow for speed to greater than 18 knots. Really, it's a battleship, not a bad cr battle cruiser. When did this ever be an issue? It was an issue with the battle cruisers we tried to design previously. Oh, so I've got to put the triple on the rear turret? That's strange. It's also less efficient weight wise. All right. 12 inch deck or 3 inch deck, 12 inch belt. The turrets feel way under armored. Six inches and doubles. What about five or fivers and doubles. Okay. Four inches and in tertiary tertiaries. All right, so she will have 10 4-inch guns in single turrets, I guess. 20 5-inch guns in double turrets. Eighty-five rounds should be sufficient for 14 inches because they fire more slowly, I think, per gun. Or, I mean, 90, we have the weight. We can... All right, so 32,000 tons. So they are considerably larger than our other dreadnoughts. Um, they still have torpedo tubes, which is funny to me anyway. If you take a look at the gun data, we've got an immunity zone between 21,000 and 13,000 yards against our current type of ship. So they, they should have pretty good armor until you get real close. Okay, medium range, which is different for most of our torpedo airships. Torpedo defense two. We'll do so. That'll be six four-inch guns on each side. Five double turrets of twenties on each side. And then the 10, 14 inch guns. I'm okay with that design. We can call it the Na the Napoli class. I don't mind. Or maybe we'll call it the um, Empire class. And then we'll name each one after a different ship in the or different colony in the Empire. So yeah. Go ahead and save that design. 6.3 million in four months. Okay. So that's fine. Our budget will be in the black as soon as we get through the next month. It's going to take four months to design the ship. I did do the... Um, I hope I did the right type of fire control. I'm assuming it would have told me it's, it wasn't. 32,000 tons. Pretty sexy ship, I think. If they ever get into service. All right, Commodus finishes reconstruction. 
Are we behind yet in tech? No. France is very advanced, though. So we're going to increase espionage of France. I guess there's nothing coming from the espionage of Spain, so we'll lower that because they're backwards. U.S. Is, is average, so we'll lower them to low. Germany's still very advanced, so we'll keep them at high. Okay. Not enough light cruisers, I don't think, though. So let's go ahead and design a new light cruiser class. Especially now that we got the above above water torpedo tubes on these things. What the heck is on the rear of that ship? Is that a depth charge rack? No. What the heck are these things? All right, so they have two swivel mount torpedoes. Can you do doubles? On a light cruiser? Yes, you can. Okay. So a light cruiser can have double torpedo tube mounts. Um, so I think four torpedoes on these guys is good enough. We'll do six inch guns. 31 knots. Say 5,500 tons. Should be sufficient. Can we do eight three inch guns? Will they fit? It'll make them out of weight, overweight, but. So six inch main guns, we've got three, one four, one aft, or two forward, one aft. Can you do super firing? A cruiser, it doesn't look like it. And we can't do multiple guns on the main battery. So I do think doing a secondary battery is probably a smart idea. Since we can't do super firing, we only have three of the main main guns. So she makes 50, she's 5,900 tons. She keeps growing a little bit, but that's about the size of our previous light cruisers. A little bit more expensive to build. 31 knots, medium range, normal accommodation. These guys should be pretty decent ships, I'm hoping. So a four gun broadside for each of the four inchers plus the three six inch turrets. And then the two swivel mounts for the torpedoes. It might actually be interesting to make like a torpedo cruiser. None of these center mounts look good where they're located though. Still, I think a two a two torpedo broad. I mean, it's better than what we had before. So the Q is where I actually would want it. Oh, can't be used on a ship of that size anyway. Okay. Um, what about port and starboard broadside mounts? They're like right on top of these turrets, but I don't know if that actually matters.
All right, 6,200 tons. The damn thing keeps growing. That's it. That's what we're cutting it off. So we've got actually four tor four double torpedo tubes, so eight torpedoes, 10 4-inch guns, three 6-inch guns. Yeah, let's do that. So she's a big, she's a big ship. It'll take two months for the design study on her. Okay, longitudinal hull framing, diesel generators, rebellion in Cuba continues. Panama Canal opens, yay! The Naval Secretary believes destroyers are the most important part of the Navy. He wants you to build at least 20 additional? Dear God, with what money? Of course, sir. Give me more money and prestige. 20 more destroyers. Dear God. It's not now on the light cruiser. I'm going to need to build a new destroyer design. We haven't actually built the... 1100 ton destroyers yet i don't think with the double mounts do one four one aft five inch gun let's uh, let's do a different design Let's do a different design. Okay. This actually will do two broadside tor torpedo tube mounts here. So we've got actually a six torpedo broadside with eight torpedoes total. We'll have four four-inch guns, although honestly, the port forward and starboard forward wing we could probably get rid of. So we just have one four-inch gun, well, actually one five-inch gun, four and aft. Cut the range to short, and she can make 32 knots. Short ranged. I don't know if cramped is a good idea. I think that makes it more vulnerable. But what if we do cramped accommodations and normal engine priority? We can't do that. It's got to be speed. So these guys are going to have unreliable engines. Okay. 32 knots, though, isn't bad. All right, it'll take a month till their design study's done. Industrial production is soaring. Airship bombardment armament. Okay, new research tech. Let's build 20 destroyers. Let's see how much it puts us in the red. Barely in the red. We actually have a little bit of surplus money. We'll have more when the uh, Tortugas come done. Meanwhile, we've got like 10 subs. We probably want more than that. Man, I can't go to war with anybody. Tensions keep dropping. Um, all right, we have 15 million just sitting in the bank. So let's build some of the uh, Lombardia class cruisers. Four of them, I'd say. We'll build six. And we're going to build two of the Empire class battleships. Okay. All right, so we are 14 million in the red. 
I've got so much excess shipyard capacity, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with it. But we're going to have to figure out ways to uh, cut costs a bit. I want to get those new battleships pr making progress toward completion, though. So let's actually halt the Tortuga for a couple months. Halt this rebuild. And then for the light cruisers, we're going to halt three of them. So, like, I guess it's probably silly to start construction on all these ships. But again, my hope is that these guys will be ready when the, when an eventual war comes. A revolution in an African country has left some of our nationals stranded. Send a strong squadron to bombard the capital until our citizens are released. Yes. Mine rails on seals and DDs. Okay. I mean, you know, Great Britain tensions are, are something to keep an eye on because I do not want to go to war with Great Britain, but I would not mind a war with France. Right, so this rebuild will be done next month. So we're going to go ahead and halt the XTRG temporarily. Or maybe, yeah. And then halt our three remaining light cruisers to get back in the black. Meanwhile, when this rebuild is done, it'll free up 2.6 thousand. Anti-Russian revolution is broken out in Shanghai. Okay. All right. So land-based aircraft, naval air bases. We can now build air bases with a capacity of 20 aircraft. Do we even have aircraft to build? We could build, develop fighters. Yeah, sure. Uh, what do we want our requirements to be? They're probably not going to be suit. Let's have an aircraft for a float plane scout. Or what's the difference between float plane scout and naval patrol aircraft? I guess naval patrol aircraft. Maybe that'll help off the shores. Range and reliability. Early aircraft firepower is going to be minimal. So, all right. So that uh, completed. So we'll go ahead and resume construction on this rebuild. Five more months there. Resume on the Tortuga. Four more months there. Tensions just keep slipping down and down. It's like it's a an era of peace. It's 1914, guys. Let me go to fucking war. Maybe it's because I have no ships active. Maybe if I were to activate the fleet, then they'd be like, oh my God, the Italians have lost their minds. But I need the money to build new ships. Not that I'm going to fare very well on a naval arms race with France. How many torpedo or submarines do they have? 18. Everybody's got more subs than me. Okay. The, rev the review of the destroyer building program is coming next month. We should have nothing to worry about. Uh, yes. USA and Austria Hungary are allied. That might be concerning. 10 15 inch guns. The British have 15 inch guns now. Fuck. They got more money, though. Much praise for my additional destroyers. Conservative newspapers would complain about no armored cruisers. You're due to hold a speech at the annual Navy League. What do you do? Freedom of the seas is threatened by the imperialistic ambitions of France. Goddamn right it is. Cuba's just determined to be free now. Um. All right, so resume. Got just enough to do that for one more month. Private dockyards are increasing my capacity to 35,000 tons. Improved triple turrets. Nice. Seaplane carrier. Why didn't this complete yet? Dear God. All right. Tortuga is commissioned into the Navy. Lepanto is commissioned into the Navy. Austria-Hungary. No. 
I'm not going to issue apology to you. Max speed 53, cruise speed 43, range 211, range medium, range heavy. There's like almost no firepower. Although they do have a gun, I guess. So we'll go with the Caproni CA60. Didn't we already do float plane scouts? Wasn't that what we just did? Or no, it was a naval patrol aircraft, wasn't it? I probably need to build air bases too. All right. Let's get our cruisers underway. Five more months till the XTRG is done. 20 new destroyers are uh, about seven months out. I mean, all these guys are working up. Man, we've been going for almost an hour and we've gone through like three years of history. Most of our ships, with the exception of a handful of cruisers, but most of our heavier ships were all rebuilt within the last two years. Still don't know why, despite the rebuild, the uh, Goito is slower than it should be. The French Navy is a majority of their heavy ships in active status. What do you do? Probably conducting annual maneuvers. Suggest they recall their blah, blah, blah. Mobilize all of our ships in reserve. I can't afford to do that. Send them a note. $50 million has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. Okay. Oh my God. Thank God. That's so much money. So yeah, we'll do another battleship. I don't care. We'll build another of the, uh, do we want the Tortuga rebuild or do we want the, let's do the empire. It's newer. It is more expensive though. So, the cost of this is $115 million. So they gave me $50 million. They gave me half the build price. But whatever. We'll name it the Sicily. So now we've got three Empire class battleships building. That'll be the largest class of Dreadnought battleships that we have. They're a little slow. I'd like them to be faster, but it is what it is. All right. Meanwhile, we have sufficient money for like 10 months at our current building. Although a lot of these light cruisers are paused. I'd rather get them going. So if I was to excel, get everything under construction right now that's in the yards, I'd have five months at current construction rates. Although we'll have a little bit of a reprieve when the XTRG comes off the ways in four months. Shouldn't they be using the new design though? But yeah, let's just, let's get it going. Oh my God, the tensions with Great Britain are so high. Why do my tensions with France keep falling? It's got to be the amount of ships I have in service. Regional war in the Balkans seems imminent. So our aircraft design is taking a long time. Why? The British are the only ones who want to fight me. I want to fight France, not Britain. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. We've been going for almost an hour. Uh, so this is as good of a time as any to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Uh, this is Rule the Waves 3, my Italian Let's Play series. And as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Bye-bye.